Hurricane Katrina hit the Gulf Coast, it was devastating for the region. Signal International, which is in the business of manufacturing and repairing ships and oil rigs, had the opportunity presented to them by a recruiter based in Mississippi. He could get Signal skilled welders and fitters from India to work on these rigs. Signal would not have to pay a penny to bring them to the United States. And they would have workers who, by virtue of their visa, are tied to that employer. The workers were told that they would be coming to the United States on permanent residence visas. What the workers didn't realize is that guest worker visas and permanent residence status are inherently incompatible. One is temporary, one is permanent. But some of them even paid $25,000 for this opportunity to come to work in the United States. And when they arrived at Signal's facilities, what they found was shocking. 24 men living in double wide trailers, no privacy. Their belongings were searched as they came and left. Illness being just widespread at the labor camp. Discrimination and harassment and disparaging comments at the workplace. Working in the bowels of, of these rigs, uh, doing the most dangerous welding and fitting work. And not only were they forced to live in this labor camp, but they were required to pay $1,050 a month each to live there. And then little by little, the workers realized that these green card promises were lies. When they started to complain, to talk amongst themselves and talk to lawyers about their conditions, Signal engaged in a roundup of some of the leaders of this organizing effort with plans to forcibly deport them. And then in March of 2008, we'd filed this case as a class action claiming that the workers were subjected to labor trafficking, racketeering, discrimination, contract violations, common law fraud. The class was not certified. And Signal considered that to be a huge victory. And the result was 12 separate lawsuits filed on behalf of close to 250 workers. We were provided with um, two and a half million documents. The levels of discrimination, of collusion and fraud, we were able to prove with these documents, some of which were just appalling. The extent to which Signal profited was very evident through these documents. We had a five-week trial, an incredible team effort, and I've never had a collaborative effort that can come close to matching what we had here. The result of the trial was a $14.1 million verdict for the first five plaintiffs to go to trial. Something that was really impressive about this group of clients was that they stuck with it. The Signal did whatever it could to delay this case. And these workers persevered. And in the end, having stuck it out for seven long years, they achieved real justice. This case is about getting justice for our clients, while at the same time highlighting deep flaws in our guest worker program that allowed these kinds of abuses to take place. And about sending the message both to this company and to other employers that they won't get away with this kind of behavior.